Hello guys, it's the Squeeps here and welcome to my channel. So uh, this video was supposed to be posted last week, but um, I lost my voiceover. <laughs> so I had to redo my voiceover and around last week I was really sick. Also this week I was really sick, but as you can hear I'm much better. I'm well. Um, yeah, I made this uh, piece two weeks ago after posting uh, my one marker challenge. This piece was inspired by someone I follow on Instagram. I'll link her in the description below. She's really, really into galaxy haired girls at the moment. So I got the inspiration from that. I want to do do a galaxy girl of my own but in my own take in my own style because yeah I want to explore and experiment more with watercolors and what I can do with them how I layer them and stuff like that so for the galaxy girl I've decided to uh, do my original character called mother of the night I created her during Inktober, um, the year before, so in 2015. Um, I really, really liked how I made her, but that time I didn't really call her. I just did pencil shading and um, ink outlines uh, for Inktober, because it was Inktober. And I was... Um, yeah, exploring with ink and pencil. Um, so yeah, and then I I redrew her, and this and that time colored her, but with blue hair. Cause the those are the markers I've randomly brought with me to school, that time, and yeah, I stuck with the blue haired color, but I wanted to do a galaxy hair for her because she's the mother of the night um so yeah and her daughters are the stars so i thought why not to make her hair a galaxy at first i didn't really plan any of this out this was just like uh going with my gut or winging it i didn't whoops <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't really know what I was doing, only that I wanted to experiment a bit, but I was also a bit hesitant. I'm usually hesitant <laughs> with uh, making my pieces because I'm not as confident in my um, abilities. <laughs> and I'm trying to overcome that. And it seems that while recording me a uh, painting and inking and drawing this um i've seemed to have like powered through this piece instead of uh, taking like after doing the sketch taking like five hours break and then do it the next day and then ink only the face and stuff like that uh, but this time i've done it only for like two days and I'm really really happy and proud of that. I do apologize that um, some parts, well most parts, or a lot of parts, <laughs> I do apologize if a lot of parts are blurry and unfocused and for my hair coming in going in my face of course. Um, it's because I was really focused and I'm relearning how to position the camera and how close I can lean in. Um, so when I sped up this, when I was editing this video and sped up the inking part, <laughs> no matter how that, I, much I sped up, it looked like I was very slow during the inking. And that's because I'm not really comfortable while inking, because I'm afraid to make a mistake and that be stuck there and everyone would notice it. But yeah, I made a mistake, but I didn't panic that time. I just went with it. And I doubt that a lot of people would notice unless 
you look very, very closely. With the hair, I tried out, um, I tried out with the first layer, mixing a few colors here and there. Then I layered it again with the same colors, but I made the purple darker. And then I layered it with a bit of red on top, with some purple and blues. And then I tried using a technique, I think? I guess you can call it a technique. I tried making triangles in her hair by using a red a watercolor paint to add some texture. I thought it looked a bit too um, visible, so I decided to put another layer on top. So I kept on adding layers until I was happy with it. I skipped the part of um, adding the stars because I thought it would be a bit repetitive since you just see me dotting everywhere and making crosses and stuff like that. And yeah, I chose a grey colour for the skin because, um, I don't know, I didn't really have chosen like a colour for her skin before. I usually just leave it blank or shade it in with pencil, so I decided to just stick with the grey. And I'm really, really happy that I decided to pick the grey because it really makes her stand out because of the warm colours in her hair. I hope you guys enjoy this piece. And yeah, I'll try and do more voiceovers without <laughs> being nervous. I am still nervous. My face is really, really warm. <laughs> uh, yeah. I know the more I'll do voiceovers, the more comfortable I'll be. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this and listening to me talk, or you just have uh, turned the volume off and put something on. I don't really mind. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Oh, and um, I plan on starting a shop in Redbubble. I'm not sure what to put on. I'm still nervous of what to put on, what people might not like and stuff. So yeah, um, I'm also thinking of doing commissions since I have a lot of free time at the moment. Um, and maybe selling originals. So yeah, I'll do a separate video on that, maybe. So yeah, thank you for watching again, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!